Uh, skål. Mm. Skål. Jag börjar dricka. Skål. Okej, okej. What is up, Yam Squad? Welcome to another video. I've been listening to some of your music, Lin. Yeah. And I gotta say, I'm, 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 I'm impressed. You're impressed. impressed. Yeah. So what about singing? Like, cause it's you're called Lin the singer. Why the yeah. singer? Why? What's where does that come from? I think I just wanted. To, it's a very boring <laughs> thing. Actually, I just wanted to have something simple on yeah. all my social media. Okay. And Lin the singer. But the singer great. is like. Because I'm a singer. <laughs> but it's so straightforward. It's like Yambo the filmer. It's like is it, you can is it do bad? a little bit better than yeah. You is can do bad? a little bit better than Lin the singer. Okay. Maybe like, uh, have you heard Astrid? Astrid S. Yeah. Yeah, she's got like it's Astrid uh, S. I need a better artist. Yeah, kind of like switch it up maybe. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe now it's too late. It's not too late. But I, uh, you know, I, I need to think about it. I get a lot of Mariah Carey when I listen to the oh. music that you, like even the song which you, which you're working on right now. Yeah. It has a lot of Mariah Carey vibes. Are you inspired by her? I mean, I love R and B. Okay. And I guess maybe it's a bit of her ad libs and melodies, maybe. Yeah. You know, like the vocals. Yeah. Maybe is that what you feel? I don't know. It's just like because I because I was listening to the song today. I'm just like shit. That sounds like Mariah. Or like hmm. you could make like a reference track to her. Okay. Without like, and I think she'll be able to take it without no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like writing lyrics and doing all of that. Uh, what made you start? What made you start creating, making music? I think. I started just writing stuff when I was little. Yeah. I think poems. Yeah. Actually. Uh, and I was reading a lot when I was little. So I think just like lyrics. I started with, I think I started with lyrics. But was there like an artist which you really were inspired by? Somebody which you were like, okay, shit, that's, that's the one. Actually, not when I was little. Okay. But I always went to music school because mm -hmm. I always had like, like great music teachers, like even when I wasn't in music school, yeah. I had always had teachers who loved music mm. and was playing music with us. My mom loved music, she put me in music school and mm -hmm. I was always in music school, but I always wanted to be a dancer. But is like music school, you're playing the piano? Because I used to play the piano. Yeah, but uh, mainly singing in the choir. Mm. So I was always doing music, but I never thought I want to be a singer. Actually. But did you like go to church or were you like, uh, like, because you said choir? Did yeah. you also go to church and, and sing a little bit in the choir there? Uh, we we did concerts in mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a church choir. It was just a school choir. Yeah. Uh, but I think I was 14 when it hit me that I wanted to be. Wanted to do music. I wanted to be a singer. Yeah. But I had been singing for a long time, but I was I never wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a dancer. Okay, so you got signed to Nine Tone. How did that occur and what, what happened there? How did you get signed? Were you scouted or did they go to a choir and find you there? Or? Um, uh, Nine Tone. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, I was studying in London music. Okay. And I had been working on a song uh, with a friend who's a mm -hmm. producer. Mm -hmm. And we were doing this song and um, we submitted it for a radio station in Sweden, okay. which is called P3 Usainat. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So they play artists that aren't signed. Yeah. And uh, basically I just also promoted the song to everyone I knew and I got everyone involved in like trying to get the song attention. Mm. And actually two labels contacted me from, from there. Yeah. And then I talked to both of them for a few months and then I went with Nine Tone. And Why specifically Nine Tone? Because was it because it's Sunsval or? And no, because um, I just liked. Basically, there was the producer who signed me. I yeah. really liked his sound, and uh, I thought he was really good. Mm. And so I wanted to work with him, 
and the other label they were mainly they were doing other types of deals and they wanted me to find the producer mm. and basically producing was what i wanted help with mm. at the time mm. and so and they provided that they were like yeah we can produce your songs make like produce them really well and mm. um, and that's pretty much why why i signed with them so you signed with nine tone you started making music and that's how we met that's how we met yeah and um I, f I found it very fascinating because like uh i that time i used to also kind of like make music and i wanted to get signed so i was mm. like oh man i want to get signed but then for some reason I, I started with youtube and companies and doing all that so i didn't really have the time and then i saw how like some of the artists which got signed to nine tone mm -hmm. and to other like uh, record labels it's it's almost like it, I don't know if it's the record label itself, but something happened there where people just stopped. Like a lot of people are just like jumping off like record labels. Mm -hmm. Why is that, you think? I think um, it doesn't really work, the record label model today, I think. Mm. Because TikTok, the, yes, Instagram, the labels all of that. actually don't have that much money to promote mm. and develop artists. They are kind of just counting on the artists uh, promoting themselves on mm. social media. Yeah, it's taking a lot of responsibility for that. And I don't think it's the label's fault necessarily, but I think it's just a new, it's a new thing that the people that survive are the people that are good at music and good at social media. You can't. It's very hard to succeed by just being good at music because the labels don't have the resources to like push you. Okay. They kind of count on you pushing yourself as well. And but then why are you signed? Huh? Why are you signed or why? I think... What's the allure? You, I think you kind of have to go through that and realize that's not the answer anymore. Mm -hmm, I understand. <laughs> and you realize that when you get signed, you're like, actually, it doesn't matter. Like, if someone tells me they're signed, mm. I'm not impressed at all. It doesn't mean anything. Well, what, what impresses you right now? Is it the followers? Is that, have we morphed into more following or? I mean, nothing impresses me. <laughs> <laughs> Something must impress you. Uh -huh. Some things. Uh, I mean, people who really know what they're doing okay and that, <laughs> in which and sense? that have a good relate like they know what they're about that they know what they're good at they're sticking to what like there's like they don't listen to other people yeah, yeah they listen to themselves okay they do their own thing yeah and they have like a a good relationship with their audience okay let that me ask you me. let me ask you about a song with you because it was an interesting song which you made uh, it oh was called God, run i feel grilled yeah. Uh, how did that song come to pass? What happened there? Because I, I <laughs> what, happened? what happened? What went wrong? Because <laughs> to be honest, I think that's maybe one of like the worst songs <laughs> I've ever heard. I'm sorry. I mean, there's you have done some some good songs where like there was this song where you're dancing. Okay. Where you had like a music video, you and some other girls, yeah. you were dancing, and I've, I, I thought that one's okay. That one's pretty, you know. That one's good. Okay. Uh, then I saw this other video. Oh, to be honest, I. Okay, I have this thing, Lynn. I think you're very talented, but sometimes I think, I think you don't dig deep enough. Okay. When it comes to your music and like like the artistry and like. It's like, it feels like, it's almost like, oh, it would be fun to do this, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's not like, I don't know, it feels like, because when we talk, it seems more like you're a deeper individual than, than what you create. Oh, okay. Is that, is that something which you've noticed or is it like... I agree with that. But, but why is that? Why, why don't you dig yeah. deeper? Why don't you do like a very emotional music video or like something where you're crying, like show emo like go a little crazy if you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think in the beginning I was just doing whatever. Mm. I was just trying to do everything pretty mm. much. And, um, and uh, <laughs> I, I do want it like, but yeah, it takes a lot of energy and time to like do these like big projects. Mm -hmm. And I've had ideas 
I have ideas, mm. but it's just um, you also get like so much pressure, like mm -hmm. from the outside on what on That's how true. you're supposed to promote music, and it's you're supposed to do singles, and you get like a lot of impressions from outside of you on like how you should do it and what's the smartest way to do it. But the the one where you're dancing, that one, then you're out of the. You weren't in the nine tone and all of that. No, I was. Oh, okay. Because that one was it was good. It was like it was well planned, and then there was, I saw this other. I don't know if it was Instagram, but I saw this other thing where you're like covered in blood, and I was like, okay, what's that that's was, pretty interesting. That was my that was me completely me. Okay, okay, that was that was pretty interesting. Mm. I was like, okay, what what's going on there? But I did not see. Was it a music video or was it just like it a was short more little like reels that was like kind of creating a story? Why don't you do something there? No, like I want to do that, mm? and that's what I've been doing. But also like. At the moment, I've been struggling to find time for my music. Mm, I understand. And, uh, you know, when you're doing everything by yourself and you're not getting help from anywhere with money or, you know what I mean? You mm -hmm. have a full time job. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to say it as an excuse. Yeah. But it's harder to find the time. To but how important is like creating for you? Like, how important is it to? Like, is it, is it as, because for me, like, creating is, like, the most important thing. Mm -hmm. I would say, like, uh, my best music video, hands down, like, sound-wise, I would say the one which we made, sound-wise, if you just put it on, it, sound-wise, it's perfect. But I would say visual, I would say it's uh, more than friends. Because, like, visual is just perfect. It's just, like, I was thinking, like, kind of like a, an old Mac commercial, mm -hmm. but blend it, like, a lot of colors, but also have like emotion in it and like do all of that and then it's also very futuristic so it's something which it took me maybe what two weeks to do but i filmed everything in front of the green screen mm -hmm. and um it was i don't know it was there was a lot of emotion there so it's like it's one one of my favorites you know so i i when i look at my music it's more like it's legacy it's yeah because I know like later people are going to understand kind of like artistically where I'm at right now they don't get it but in mm -hmm. the future they will mm. so I'm thinking where, where's your legacy where's I see it's <laughs> um I mean I'm working on some new things now yeah and it's kind of like I also don't want to like uh, go mm, overboard with each song i kind of just want to create okay. smaller shorter visuals for each song each song mm -hmm. at the moment i just want to start releasing more music and i don't actually want to think too much about it yeah i have an idea a visual idea for the song and i want to go and i want to create something but are you yeah. what what kind of themes are you think is more death like because the blood was interesting uh, yeah, basically or is that it song more was like... called Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. So it was basically, you know, Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, of yeah, course. So it was based on that. I'm not born... So... <laughs> I don't, I don't know, just, wa I I don't just watch someone. like, uh, what is it called, like superhero movies. I was talking with someone the, like a few weeks ago or something and yeah. they didn't know who Bonnie and Clyde was. <laughs> 